All right, guys, what's happening? Happy Hump Day! And wait, is that actually Wednesday? Holy shit, this week's going by fast. So yeah, Happy Hump Day to you guys, and uh, we're halfway through the week, so we're getting there. It's halftime. Anyway, let's just get to it. Um, what in the living fuck is going on with Kirk Bush and Stuart House raising? Or is there really anything going on? I sort of saw this news yesterday. Uh, I couldn't get the video out yesterday after I got done doing the uh, the news that came out about cup drivers opinion in the uh, Xfinity and trucks and uh, this just came out of nowhere I was not expecting this uh, Kurt Busch your Daytona 500 champion from this year uh, reported first by NBC if I'm not mistaken uh, will not be returning to storehouse racing in the 41 Ford in 2018 and shortly after after that report got out storehouse racing on Twitter went right to Twitter says, uh, quote, we don't comment on contract uh, status, but we expect Kurt Busch back in our Monster Energy Haas Automation Ford in 2018. Just saying. But then, if, if I go to Kurt Busch, this is what I found interesting. After Stuart Haas Racing put that, uh, he might have deleted it, but yeah, he deleted it. He uh, quoted a tweet from IndyCar with the pinky emoji. So, I don't know, something's... He, I haven't seen Kurt Busch publicly say anything to that, but I just thought it was interesting. But, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this either tells me this. If this is actually real news, this tells me that Matt Kenseth is going to the 41 and Kurt Busch is going back to Furniture Row Racing where he was a couple years uh, ago before Martin Truex came into the show. If this is true, and then Bubba Wallace will come take the 10 car and Casey Kane will go... Uh, dude, this is like the most bizarre silly season in NASCAR that we had in like a very, very long time. It's, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but if this is fake news or if we're just being dramatic about this shit... I don't know what's the point of this video, but I, don't know, it, I was just so confused, and but yet so entertained on what's going on. Because I first saw the report by NBC, and then I saw that quote by uh, Storehouse Racing on Twitter, confirming that they expect to be having Kurt Busch next year in 2018 in the same ride. But, I don't know, that would be weird, because I think Kurt Busch fits perfectly with the... Um, storehouse racing because think about it you got well back then you know of course you got the boss man Tony Stewart you got one of the most badass guys in the sport Kurt Busch you know he's known for his big hot temper Danica Patrick well you're just Danica Patrick and you got Clint Boyer who's that one funny kid in the classroom and you got uh, Happy Harvick who's not really happy he likes to kick somebody's ass and loves to start fights so I think that team just fits perfectly they're still trying to get I mean ever since Kurt won the 500 this year they just not been on their game this year at all. But I think it's just because it has a lot to do with the uh, Ford moving from Chevrolet to Ford this year, which I knew it was going to happen. So, um, But I think they're starting to figure it out. You know, I mean, we got Harvick. He won at Sonoma earlier this year. And Boyer, he's got the, he had that stage win last week at Pocono. So I, they're, they're, they're getting there. They're starting to figure it out. So, um, Oh, we'll cut to an online race. Oh, yeah, this is that shitty gameplay I was in. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? What the fuck's going on? Are we just... Is this just actually fake news? Or is this is there really something going on? So, let me know down in the comments. And you guys go enjoy your day.